So, number one, let's do this review real quick. Then we'll have our activity. Establishment clause and free exercise clause protect what? Freedom of petition, freedom of assembly, freedom of religion, or all of the above. Which one is it? Say yes. Freedom of religion. And number two, the lemon test, what does it evaluate? Yes, what is appropriate to give to parochial schools or religious schools? Okay. Next, we're going to be moving on to our activity. All right, guys. Um, this activity, the next activity we're going to do, we're going to look at a political cartoon. And I want you guys to break up into groups of two or three. And first, Rick, could you please pass these out to everyone? Yeah. And I want you guys to get in groups two or three, answer the four questions at the bottom, and then we'll have a brief discussion afterwards. Okay? So you guys can get into groups now. All right, I got, guys, you have five minutes to work this out and answer all four questions. And then afterwards, as I just said, stated, uh, we'll discuss the questions. Okay? So you guys work, work amongst yourselves now. Work in your little groups. All right? So who are who are these guys here? Who who are these people? That's the state. Okay. And not just the state, but who else are they represent? Okay, government. <coughs> Look what they're wearing. What are they wearing? Yes. Which judges, to be more specific? Supreme Court judges. Good. And so, follow the, the projection. There's three different areas. So what, what's going on? First, and who, who are these people? Like religious. Yeah, they're, they're <coughs> okay, so they're, they're the people. And religious people in, in particular, right? Yeah. Okay. So, and, and as you just stated, Andrew, they, these are judges, Supreme Court judges. And these guys, what, what, what's going on in the second part of the cartoon? They want a conservative court. Okay, they want a conservative court. And what, what is the court doing? Pushing back. Why are they pushing back? Because that's not what they want. The question is, why don't they want that? Maybe they're more liberal. I don't know. Well, that's what happens when you get to the third. Read what it says in the third one. Conservative court. So what are they doing? They're pushing back. What are they saying to them? They are conservative. Why are you pushing us this way? We are conservative. So what, where is the irony in that? Is that the people don't believe it is, but it's just Right. So it's like right. a battle between the two points. Right. Good point. Good. Now, as you analyze that, I'll answer the questions. Yes. Good so, yes, the state. Oh. Shall I do it? All right, guys. You had your seven minutes. Now, through the miracle of television, we're going to continue this group activity uh, with a discussion about this political cartoon. Uh, and we're going to analyze and answer the four questions. So, you guys had enough time to do that. So let's start going over these four questions. The first one is, what's going on in the first frame of the cartoon? What's happening? 
Julia? Um, people on the left are just kind of like the citizens, and they're trying to push um, the church towards the state, or they're trying to get prayer put into the schools, and the people in the middle that stand between church and state, they're trying to kind of keep them separated, or represent the law, they're like the judges, and they, they don't want the church to be pushed towards the state. Okay. Does anyone agree with that, or disagree? We do uh, agree. Okay. Agree. Yeah. The, the the people on the right, does everyone agree? Do we think that they're they who do they represent? Court. Well Supreme Court. Or the judges, judges. Okay? And the people on the left, who do you think they I mean, who really do you think they represent? Who are these citizens? Andrew, who do you think they are? Mm -hmm. They could be, I don't know, preachers or conservative people. Okay. Conservatives, preachers, other people. All right. And why do they want to legalize school prayer? All right, Rip. You got your pass? Oh, yeah. All right, I'll get it after you. Why do they want to legalize school prayer? Why do you think they want to legalize school prayer? The citizens want to legalize school prayer. So they can practice their religion. Hannah, yes, so they can practice, yeah, so they, so they can freely practice their religion, okay. Any other thoughts? Thank you, Jeff. Any other thoughts? They probably feel like since America was founded on Christian values and on just religious values that it shouldn't just be taken away and made law that, or make it prohibited since okay. America was founded on it. All right, so because of the history and traditions of our country, what you're saying is they they want to in, incorporate prayer in school because of that tradition, because of our Christian traditions. Now, what if, however, what if they they wanted to institute Muslim prayer, or Buddhist, or a Hindu? I guess. Well, I guess that's why. Like, if you go to the third frame, that's why the courts are pushing back and saying. Well, we are concerned right. because we can't have all these different religions in the same school because there'll right. be conflict. Correct. But let's stay here. So, what does that reveal about the citizens? What do you think, Julio? They don't really have a clear understanding of what they want. Well, so, do, do, do citizens, so what you're saying, do citizens really understand what they want when they're asking for school prayer? Not really. Macy? No? I mean, who, 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 who agrees with that statement? Specific details on what prayer or anything like that or what religion. Okay. All right. All right, good. Let's let's move on to the second frame and the second question. Why do you think someone in the second frame calls for a conservative Supreme Court? Because they would have the same views. Okay. Because um, usually traditionalists are more like I don't know. They have more religious backgrounds. If you're conservative. Okay. So you think a, a conservative Supreme Court would would be. Uh, more receptive of that decision. So, okay. Well, you had your hand uh, up. I was going to say, well, usually the traditional conservative um, is has a good background in, in some type of religion or faith. So only a liberal would oppose such a measure? Yeah, that's what they're saying. Yeah, that's, ah. that's what they're telling the call in the court. Now. Ah. Mm -hmm. So, I think that's the key point here. So, so they cannot prohibit the free exercise of a religion. But we know from the discussion on the PowerPoint that they can prohibit certain activities. Can we name any of those? Julia? Say religion like to practice like sacrifices of children and things. Like, okay. That, that can't be legal for you just to kill children even though it's part of their religion. Okay. It has to be. Eric? Or uh, pick up poisonous snakes or such things that can hurt you or okay. harm. Okay. Good job. Julio? Bigamy or... Bigamy? Okay. 